Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here. So, uh, what we're going to do here is something a little special in this short video. I say short, it should take about 20 minutes or so. So, as you can see by the title, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be actually launching ourselves into space and trying to land on our freighter. Eh, no big deal, right? Everybody can do it with the right ship. We're not doing it with a ship. We're going to do it with our jetpack. That's right. We're going to launch ourselves with our jetpack onto our freighter. Let's get started. So we're doing it from ground level. We're not doing it from something in the middle of the air. We're on a planet right now that is, uh, it's aggressive sentinels, but uh, I think I haven't turned off right now. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that, but uh, yeah, I took a had a battle with them and took them out. So that's to make it a little bit easier. So first thing we need to do is pull on our freighter. So let's go ahead and do that real quick here. Summon freighter. Let's go ahead and pull it straight up over our heads here. And boing. There we go. Looks really clear in this atmosphere, does it not? Well, that's because this is a low atmosphere planet. That's right. See, if we highlight that low atmo atmosphere, even though it has aggressive sentinels, it's a low atmo, which means you float a little better. So in order to get up to that freighter, I'm just going to use my jetpack. Now, with the right upgrades in your jetpack. Let me be very, very clear about this. See, jetpack is over here. Okay. See, I've got an airburst engine, of course, so you can recharge while you're falling. You definitely need to have this. This is very important. Okay. I've also got this one bumped into my supercharge slot. It's giving me extra tank, extra fuel efficiency, and initial boost is pretty good too. I've got water jets, which don't really apply here. This one is just as good as this one, just about. I may want to look for another one, but the recharge rate is increased on this one, as well as fuel efficiency in the bigger tank as well. This one does the same thing. Again, recharge rate plus 33%. Initial boost power is great. Recharge rate 11%. You get the hint here, right? The recharge rate and the fuel efficiency are very, very important to getting this done. So. Recharge rate 37, recharge rate 33, recharge rate 11 on the on the smaller one that we've got, and we have the airburst engine, which allows us to recharge while we're falling. And there's not a lot of falling that we're going to do here. Second thing you're going to need is you're going to need a lot of either oxygen, uh, dioxide, or you're going to need some uh, life gels in order to recharge your life support. I don't have many on me, but I do have some in my... Um, uh, in my ship up above. So when you go to recharge this, I do have over a hundred life support shells in my in my ship right now. So let's get started, and we're going to go ahead and get up there. So let's see how long this takes. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this started. You already can see the time on the clock. We're about three minutes in right now. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm sporting the new jetpack. I'm going to get up to the highest height I can go in my first boost. And then we're going to do short boosts while it recharges so we don't fall too far. And as you can see, the recharge rate is pretty good. No camera this time, folks. You're not looking at me. You're looking at me. Not much to see here. So if you really want to do, like... Fast forward to the end. I don't think I'd blame you. Now I'm using keyboard mouse here. We're using it through Steam, PC, whatever you want to call it. May take a little while to get up there. But as you can see, we've already got some great height going on. And that shadow you see going across the landscape is the shadow of my ship. Not bad, right? Temperature of negative six below on this planet during the nighttime. As the shadow creeps up and you'll notice that I'm not exactly going perfectly straight because obviously that's my base down there but that's okay at some point we're gonna want to angle over to the ship now another key component that you need on your freighter is you need an outside exit so make sure you have an exit built into your freighter that allows you to go outside onto a deck of some sort that way you have a door to get in because you cannot enter in through the same door that the ships take. It will not let you. It's purposely designed that it does not allow that. So as you can see, we're 
pretty pretty high up if we can get it locked in. We're 431 units up. Four hundred units up, I should say. So I'm going to go more this direction here, so we're looking that way. And that way you get a better idea when we look back at our base of how high up we really have come. Those spars that stick out of the ships on these um, pirate-style frigates are not... You cannot stand on them. You'll go right through them. Just keep that in mind. All right, let's get this recharging going. If you fall too long, he starts waving his little arms. And mind you, we should not be able to do this. But we can. Alright. So let's see how, how high up we've gotten thus far. Let's look back at the base. 700 units. Nearly straight up. Alright, let's get one long boost going. There we go. Let it recharge a little bit. Bottom of the arrow. Go a little bit higher up the arrow. Top of the arrow, like the top of the little protrusions on the side. You can see on the recharge button on the right-hand side. We're going to get to the top of it now. Not quite. That should be good. That's way at the top. And just about fully charged. Fully charged. And did we make any progress? We sure did. Let's go ahead and use it all up this time. Now the great part is, once you get into space, your jetpack becomes way more efficient. Unfortunately, your life support drops like a rock. But that's okay. You can tell by the head of your character, too, which way direction you're actually going. See, he looks down as you start to fall. Not bad, right? Almost fully charged again. Charged. So now we're going to do a full boost again, all the way to the bottom. And it looks like we are actually steadily getting closer. We can already see the curve of the planet. Brilliant. Why? Because it's round. We are three minutes above our base. I bet you we can get there a lot quicker if we just drive. Uh, I mean, fall. 729, it says. I think we're a little higher up than that. Okay, let it charge up a little bit to the bottom there. Okay. Why do we do this? Because we can. That's why. Anything in No Man's Sky that we could try to do, that we can try to sort of break the game, we don't really break it, but we're actually exploiting something within the game, just makes it more fun. We do want to head towards that end of the ship, because that's where our, our uh, main, uh, I guess where you bring your ships in. On this, on these freighters, you pull them into the front. So I'm going to actually angle that way. There we go. Let's get the charge going back again. Just about reaching space. No, it's hard to tell. But I have unfortunately done this so many times that I know. Almost all the way. Look at that. And what we can do is we can stay like this 
We are now in space, as you can see. Now watch my jetpack, you'll notice that my cold protection has dropped like a rock. It has now plummeted to nothing. So now we're just going to use our jetpack to keep going up as high as we can. And you'll see it drops very, very slowly. But we're going to keep going. Uh oh. Let's recharge quickly. There we go. Alright, let's go up. I keep forgetting I don't have to recharge again because you notice that my, our jetpack is so efficient at this point it really doesn't make a difference. Uh oh. <laughs> Didn't get to it in time. And you can't use your jetpack while that's going on. So we're coming up to our first spar on our ship. And we're in swimming mode. So far, it's taken us about eight minutes to get up this high. When it warns you, get started. You can still fall to the planet from this height. It just takes you long, of course. And just so you know what he looks like while we're doing this. He is swimming in space. Apparently... I'm not now don't know how true this is and I don't know how many astronauts are watching right now but can you actually wave your feet and actually swim through space? I'm going to say no. I'm going to use a full charge of our jetpack. And as you can see we are definitely getting much much closer to our ship. So I think we're about lined up so we're going to go straight up from here. Okay. We're just about close enough to start touching. As we get within a certain reach of the ship, we'll be able to get some atmosphere, if you will. All right, we are hitting some protrusions. There we go. Okay, let's go up the side of the ship. Whew. Just about there. Now we're getting into a position where we can make it to the ship. Let's just get up the side of our ship here. Very tall ship. And you notice the recharge rate is just as much as it was on the planet. So you can recharge real quick. There we go. Just about up to the top. And we're over the top. We gotta get past all this. Just about lined up perfectly. Gonna get over to this section right here and we should be able to land. Oop, got it. All right little further and we should be able to hit it. We should stop floating and we'll drop much more rapidly. Head towards the bridge. See, there's our... Oh, see? See? Look. Life support's still going down. But it stopped. We are now walking on top of our freighter. We cannot go in those entrances. We got to go up to the top up here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and boost up there. Now our jetpack is going to act normally. But you got to be able to get up to the top of this. There we go. Whoop. Whoops, I'm in the wrong area. Hold on, let me recharge. There we go. All right, we got to get up to the top and walk on top of this. There we go. So these are the sections of the ship that I've built. And I have an entrance right over here. And it is right over here. There it is. And there we go. And I have an outside door. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now inside of our freighter. Problem is, the freighter doesn't build outright, so you can't get to certain sections of your ship. But you can get back to your docking bay, where your where your, all your ships are located. And you see it took us exactly, what, 13 minutes, 12 minutes to get up here? There we go. And you're back in your docking bay. Just basically grab a new ship. I'll take the good old golden vector I got with the first expedition. A little graphic glitch there. And there we go. And we have made it back to the planet. As you can see, we've got a nice shadow going on down there. And there's our base at the rear of the shadow. So, that is how one can make it to the top to your freighter without using one of your starships. The key, low atmosphere planet, folks. You just need a low atmo planet. Okay, and that should do it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for wa watching this uh, ridiculous video, but I thank you very much. I had to do it for the fun of it, and I wanted to share some of that fun with you, which is the whole purpose of playing games, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like, and if you like what you've been seeing, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.